I'm Kristen from Dickman Farms and this is your smart gardening tip. As we're all eagerly waiting for spring to arrive, uh, we're out usually in our garden at this point digging and waiting and eagerly watching to see what's coming up. Our number one question is, where are my flowers? Well, they're here, they're coming, they're also waiting for spring. If you're lucky enough to have a very sunny, very warm exposure, your tulips and daffs are finally coming. If not, like mine at home, they're still sleeping, they're still in there, but they're coming. Next, sec the second question usually has something to do with your evergreens, the things that were still above ground over winter that probably have a quite a bit of dieback, if we're lucky. If not, some of them have in fact gone away that we'll have lots of replacements for. But I'm here to tell you about trimming and pruning and catching up with them so that they can come back to life with us as spring emerges and the warmer temperatures come with the sunshine Mother Nature will hopefully bring to us this weekend. One of our favorites that we all usually have in our garden are boxwood or holly, the next best are dwarf Alberta spruce. Most of them have some layer of dieback, some of which will get pushed away with the new growth, others of which will come out with the new buds. As I'm doing here, very light trimming. I'm also looking for latent buds. Easy way to tell is to scratch the branch to see if it's still alive. That will give you some hope. I'll take my fingernails or pruners and just lightly scratch to see if there's green underneath. It's hard to tell, but there is. I can also see quite a bit of happy little buds down in there, ready to waken up as soon as, as, soon as spring is truly here. The next one are roses. Roses will be next on our hit list. As you can see, this guy with the western exposure, look at those beauties, those beautiful red leaves, ready to emerge. And then atop of those, lots of brown. We can safely say with our roses, even though this is one of our easy knockouts, it did suffer a bit of exposed cold. So I'm cutting back to just above where the new, the green growth is, where it's already been hardened off. And then in a couple, three weeks, this guy will be big and beautiful and hopefully full of flower buds for us for spring. And until next time, happy gardening.